Hello everyone, this is Dragonlord and welcome to another episode of Hospital Hogwarts in Minecraft. And today it is episode 17 and we are going to be building the quad, which is this little courtyard right here. And so the quad has a very nice simple design, it has some cloisters going around the edge and then some stairs going up and then a very... A very large tower which kind of sticks out in this middle face, which then it goes ahead and leads across to the hospital wing and the clock tower which is over here. And it will look like this once it is complete. But anyway, without further ado, let's get straight into it. And so the first thing we are going to do is placing the cloisters wrapping around all the way around here. These are obviously very, very similar to the archways we built in the Transfiguration Courtyard, which is this courtyard over here. And so the first thing we are going to do is build five blocks across on this place here. So one, two, three, four, five, just like that. And then on this block here, build up another five more blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, just like this. And then five blocks on this block right here. So one, two, three, four, five, just like that. And then all we need to do is just beam it across with three blocks, just like this. And of course, it is a lovely archway, and so it is going to have a nice archway design in between. So grab yourself a sandstone wall, some sandstone stairs, and a sandstone slab. And so of course, place in the sandstone stairs, just here, very similar to what we did in the Transfiguration Courtyard, and then build up three blocks with some sandstone walls, and then place a sandstone slab on top, just there. And on either side of this archway, what we are going to do is just build up five sandstone walls. So one here on the foundation level, and then two, three, four, five, just like that. And then the same thing on this pillar right here. So one, two, three, four, five, just like that. Of course, this is the foundation. This is the foundation, so that's where the floor is going to be. So if the, along here, just like that. And of course, the archway is one block above. And then we are going to grab ourselves a hopper. Of course, if you are in survival, this is going to be a bit expensive. However, it does add a nice shape to the tops of these arches. However, of course, you can really just use any other block there. It does not really matter. And then just place in a cut sandstone block on top, just like that. And then have three sandstone slabs spanning in between. And in between these blocks right here, just place in some sandstone walls, just like that. And then all we need to do is just place some sandstone slabs all the way across in this gap right behind, just here to create a nice balcony, which we can walk on, which is what is on top of these cloisters. And so you can just walk around like this. And of course, these staircases over here, they do lead up to this level right here. And so all we need to do is just repeat this six more times so that there will be seven total archways across this entire area and so let's build it one more time and then you guys can go ahead and repeat it so once again all we are going to do is come across four blocks three for the archway and then one for this pillar right here and then build up five more blocks so one two three four five just like this and then of course just beam it across right there and then to build an archway, what we are going to do is place in some sandstone stairs right there, just to create a little archway, and then three sandstone walls going up in the middle, just there, with a sandstone slab on top. And then, of course, some sandstone walls going all the way up the archway, just there, just like that, and then, of course, with a hopper on the last block, sorry, right there, just there, and then a block on top with some slabs to cap it off, and then some walls on top and that will look like this of course identical to this archway right here and then all we need to do is just add in the top of this walkway all the way along here and so all you need to do is just build this along seven more times so there should be one archway here one archway here one archway here one archway here and one archway right there just like that so one two three four five six seven of course, do not worry if they do not line up perfectly, it really does not matter. And of course, there is some space around each of these sides to go ahead and work around. It really does not matter. And so, let's just go ahead and finish off these archways. And those will go on just like this. And if you do wish to join my Discord community, there is a link in the description and you can just join. And of course you can join everyone else who is following my Hogwarts tutorial and just share your progress. It's a really awesome place and I'd love to see you there. Link is in the description. And I just did notice that I forgot to add on all of these walls so just one block below. So yeah, let's go ahead and just do that. So they will just go on just there. And so the next thing we need to do is just continue these archways all the way along this line right here. And so there should be five in total. 
So let's go ahead and start building that. So the first thing we are going to do is come in one block and build up five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six blocks, sorry. And then leave a few block gap just there. And then once again, come up six blocks just there. And then of course, just beam it across with three blocks right there. And so of course, this is going to be the exact same design as these arches right here, just perpendicular to them. And so the arch will just go in right there. And then once again, our sensing walls coming up just like that. So five blocks along there. So one, two, three, four, five. And then a hopper on top. And then a block on top of there. And then some sandstone slabs. And then some walls just like that. And then all we need to do is just wrap these sandstone slabs all the way around. Going all the way around here. And then just going in this direction here as well. And those will just go on just like this. And then all we need to do is just, of course continue these archways along all the way until there so three block gap and then another one three block gap and then another pillar a three block gap and then another pillar a three block gap and then another pillar just like that and so let's just go ahead and continue these archways all the way along here <laughs> will go on just like this of course absolutely identical to everything else we have just built and so now it is time to build on the staircase which leads up to this area right here and so you will notice that there is a one block gap right here and that is basically a mistake on my part basically all we need to do is just move these foundations one block this way so these will just go along there this line will go here like that this line will go here and then a line will go right there just like that very simple and so yeah you can either just do that or you can just follow what i do very simple of course if you don't have space to do that just leave it as it was since there is a banister going up here however it isn't really is not too necessary but anyway let's go ahead and start off this staircase and so the first thing you do want to do is come out seven blocks so one two three four five six seven and of course that will just be perfectly on these foundations right here and this is the start of our banister so the first thing to do is grab yourself a cut sandstone block and some cut sandstone slabs. And so to start this off, what we are going to do is place a slab on this block on the end block right here. A block, a block, and then a slab, and then two blocks, and then two blocks, and then a slab. And then three blocks up, just there, just like that. All we are doing is just going up the gradient of half a block, going all the way up to this line right here. And then now we are in line with this archway right here. We are going to do is just build up until we are two blocks above this line right here, basically to the same height as this area right here. And so all now we need to do is just add in the staircase in here. And so either grab yourself some sandstone slabs or some cut sandstone slabs, if it doesn't matter. I sort of like the texture of, of sandstone slabs, so having that kind of sandstone texture on the side of it. But you can really go with whatever you want. And so the first thing we are going to do is just place in two right here and then just go up just like this. So that is three, so that is one, two, three, four, five, six. And you're going to stop once you do have six of these. And then on our sixth one, we are just going to extend it back by one more block just like this and then come out three more blocks and this will just go on just like that. And then with your cut sandstone blocks, build up four blocks on these blocks along here. So one, two, three, four, and let's do that all the way along, just like so. Just going all along, just like that. And then actually what we are going to do is just actually just build up one more block from the foundations, just like this. And then once again, all we need to do is just carry on our gradient going up, except this way now, since the staircase is going to go up this way. And so place a cut sandstone stab just there, a block. And then for the rest of it, just place in blocks just there. And then on these two blocks, just place in some sandstone slabs, just like this. And then all we need to do is just fill in this line along here. So not this line here, this line right here. And just fill in this all the way along to this wall of the quad right here. And then of course, just add in some cut sandstone slabs going all the way on top, just like this. 
And then once again, we do need to carry on our staircase. And so just place in the two slabs right here, and then two slabs right there, and then two slabs right here. And then place in two slabs right here, and just bring these all the way around until it is at this height right here. And then if we come into this corner right here, so this block down here, we are going to put up five more blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, just like this. And you are just going to do this for the rest of the foundation. So just keep bringing these along until we do come to the end just right there. And then all you need to do is just place in a slab on top, one block, one block and a slab, and then two blocks right there. And if you have done it right, this block should be at the same height as this block right here. And so actually what we can do is just break these two blocks right here, add on the railing around, and then just carry on with this banister going all the way up until we do come to the same height all the way over here, just like that. And then all we do is just finish off the staircase. So two blocks right here, then two blocks there, and then two blocks right here, and then a final two blocks right here. And those should be the same height as these blocks all the way along here. And so you will notice that this railing, well, it cannot continue all the way along here. It will, of course, cut off the staircase. So all we need to do is just come behind here and place a line of cut sandstone blocks right here. And just build up three blocks. So one, two, three, 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 one, two, three just like that. And then you can go ahead and fill in the corners as well. And then this block right there. And then these three blocks here, just like that. And simply place a block right here and then a block right here and just loop some sandstone walls in between just like this. And then finally, all we need to do is just fill in the rest of the gap with some sandstone slabs just like this all the way going around and those will just finish off the floor right here. And so now we have a nice balcony which does loop all the way around the quad just right here. And so on either side of here, there are some archways going into the quad area right here. And so smash in a four by two area, just like this, and just add in some arch stairs just there. And then of course the exact same thing over here, a four by two area right here, and then some stairs to round it off just there. And there we go, that is the basic layout of the quad now done. However, I think we can all agree that the quad does need a floor. And so what we can do is the quad, unlike the Transfiguration Courtyard, does not have any grass in it in the later films. Well, I'm mainly basing this off the order of the Phoenix video game, and so in that video game it does not have any grass in it. And so all we need to do is just fill in this entire area, so from there, and then from this archway right here, of course, along our foundation level, which is of course this block right here, going all the way along. And all we need to do is just fill that out with cut sandstone, already any sandstone blocks since, well, the tops of all sandstone textures, yeah, they're identical. So really whatever is easiest for you, and let's go ahead and do that. And there we have it, the quad floor is now done. Of course, you need to build it at your foundation level, which should be one block below these archways right here. But now, well, we are getting quite sandstone out. There's a massive flat face here, a massive flat face here, a massive flat face here, and a massive flat face as the floor. Yeah, so I guess all we need to do is just build in this tower here to add some life to this area. And so to add in this tower, all we need to do is find this diamond block right here. You can either find it from going to this second wall right here and going to the wall or coming across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen blocks to get this diamond block. And so you can either do any of those methods. They should hopefully get to the same place if you have done it right. And so at the diamond block, all we are going to do is come up nine blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right here. And so on the ninth block, all we are going to do is just come out three blocks, so one, two, three, just like this. And then we are going to come in diagonally two blocks towards the center of the quad and then build out five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, just right there. And then repeat the same thing on the side. So two blocks diagonal and then three blocks going back into the quad wall just right here. And then now we can just go ahead and remove the diamond block. And then all we need to do is just curve off the bottom of this area. So what you can do is just place in some upside down sandstone stairs, just going in all the way around here, 
just like so, just like this. So two blocks there, right there. And then place blocks behind all of these stairs. I did cut sandstone, but really anything you want. And then on all of these blocks we are going to do is just place in some cut sandstone slabs. So three there, one there, three here, one here, and then three right there, just there. And then once again, we are just going to place in some sandstone blocks behind all of these slabs. And those will just go on right there. And then place one in the corner right there, and then one in the corner right here. And then what we are going to do is just place in some slabs, just wrapping around in these gaps along right here, all the way just there. And then three cut sandstone blocks to fill in the remaining gap right there. And that should be a nice smooth at the bottom. It may look a bit weird with the sandstone stairs, so I assume you can just go ahead and change these to smooth sandstone stairs to get a more nicer texture. However, it is really up to you. And I must say, I do prefer the look of having some smoother sandstone textures rather than the rough sandstone texture right here. But now for the massive quad tower. So what you need to do is come up 30 blocks on each of these right here. So let's start off, let's start off right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, just right there. And so all we're doing to do is just come up 30 blocks on all of these blocks right here. And so you can either do it by hand or you can use some sneaky but very simple fill command to do it. So if you do want to do the full command, just do it the way I do it. Or if you're not comfortable with using full commands, just go ahead and fill this up, all of these blocks along this edge right here, by 30 more blocks. But anyway, the full commands technique. And so once again, all we need to do is just go ahead and trace out the outline of this quad tower. So once again, these three blocks right here, two diagonal, five straight, and then two diagonal coming back out, and then three more blocks, just like that. And of course, these should be all identical to the blocks down there, and these should all just be in line with these blocks along just there. And then on these blocks here, all we need to do is just run the command, slash fill, one squiggle, one squiggle, minus one, another squiggle, and then one squiggle, one squiggle, minus 30, another squiggle, and then use to cut sandstone. Of course, sandstone two on bedrock condition, and press enter, and as you can see, it did fill it in very nicely. And so just go ahead and run this command on each of these blocks along here. We have used this trick many times by now. And of course, that will be very quick and it will fill it in very, very quickly. And so all we now need to do is just come back 12 blocks in this direction. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And for the same thing on this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Just like this. And then all we need to do is to fill in the gap between this block and that block right there. So once again, slash fill, take these three coordinates right here, press enter, nothing will happen. And then these three coordinates right here, three coordinates right there, and then it cuts handstone. And that would just be like that, just there. Of course, you just can either fill that in by hand if you do want to. And of course, same thing on this side, slash fill, three coordinates right there, just like that. Press enter, nothing will happen. And then these three coordinates right here with cut sandstone. And those sides will just go on just like this. And of course, all we need to do is just close off this end. So of course, you can go ahead and use our full compartment once again. Just close it off at the back. And just press and do that with cut sandstone once again. And this is the start of the bridge that will go over to the clock tower over here. But that is for a later episode to come. And then all you need to do is, of course, just decorate this quad tower. And so all we need to do to do this is grab ourselves some Sandstone slabs, I'm going to go with sandstone slabs since they do add a bit of variation, which is very nice. And then, of course, the windows, so we'll need some black stained glass panes, which are right here. And then some normal black stained glass blocks, which is here. And then some sandstone stairs. And so the first thing we are going to do is come up three blocks, so one, two, three. And then punch out a four by three area with our black stained glass panes just right there. However, that does look a bit square, so we just need to go ahead and add an archway to it. So add in some sandstone slabs just right there. So the first one being on the top of this block right there, and then just go ahead and arch that off just there. And then all we can do is just come down one block and just continue to wrap this around the entire tower just like this. And of course, the same thing on the other side. So just going around just like that. 
and then leave a four block gap between this window and the next window. So one, two, three, four. And then on the fifth block, you can go ahead and add in the exact same thing. So again, four blocks tall, just like that. And then once again, add in the lovely arch wheel on top, just like that. And then once again, come back down half a slab and then just bring these in until we do come to the wall. And of course, same thing on the other side, wrapping all the way around. Good. And then this time, we're going to leave an 11 block gap. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. And then once again, smash in your four high window on the 12th block. And then fill that in with black stained glass panes as usual. And of course, round off with our normal archway and of course, continue these sandstone slabs. However, just end them off right here and the same thing on this side, coming along and just ending it right there. And of course, there are going to be some windows on this side right here. So come in two blocks and come down one block and break a four by two area. And that will look just like this. And just add in some sandstone stairs right there. And then of course, some black stained glass in behind to create the actual window since, you know, it's quite important to have a window. And that will just go in right there. And then you can just place in some sandstone slabs to beam across just there. And then just leave a one block gap and then smash in another window right here another one block gap and then another window right here and then this time a two block gap and then another window right here just like this and then once again just repeat the exact same design so obviously some archways on top the windows in behind and then of course the beams across just right here and then all we need to do is repeat these windows onto this side in the exact same pattern just flip the other way around and those will go on just like that all the way around. And of course, this tower does need a bit of a roof. So grab yourself some dark oak planks, some dark oak slabs, and some dark oak slabs. And so the first thing we are going to do to build this roof is just come up and place in five dark oak planks just along there on the top right there with three dark oak slabs on top just there. And then come out one more block and place a block right there with a slab on top, one block behind just there, and then five blocks across, so one, two, three, four, five, and then come back down with one block right there and with a slab on top. Of course, this is going to be complete identical and then three sandstone slabs on top just right there. And then once again, come out one block with a dark oak plank and then add a slab on top right there and then a block on top right there with another slab on top just there and then come across five more blocks with dark oak planks. So one, two, three, four, five, and of course, bring the exact same thing down so a slab with a block beneath and then another slab and then a block beneath there, just like that. And then a block on top with two slabs either side, just like that. And then for this layer right here, what we are going to do is start off with a block right here and then go up one block behind, just right there. And then another block behind and then five blocks going straight. So one, two, three, four, five, just like that. And then of course, bring this back down all the way along, just like this. And then on top, a block right there, and then two slabs on either side. And then behind this, all we are going to do is place in the exact same pattern going along, just like this, just going back the way down, exact same way. However, all we are going to do is just place on a slab on each block, just going all the way along, and that will just go on just there. And then for the rest of the roof, all we do need to do is just place in some dark oak stairs and just come up all the way to the top in the middle right here. A slab on top right there and then actually all we need to do is just place in some more three slabs on top just there and of course this should be exactly identical on each side which I think it is that's good and of course so you need to do is just place in the stairs going all the way to the top on this side as well and then all we need to do is just continue this roof all the way along all the way to the end of this area and then actually just go over one block just there and so all we need to do is just continue this roof all the way along the rest of this area. And there we go, that will just go on just like this, absolutely beautiful. And then always do, which is of course, just fill in the gaps behind with some cut sandstone set, with some cut sandstone blocks, and just to fill in the gaps between all of the stairs. And that will look just like this. Of course, there will be a lovely bridge going across, but that is for a later episode. And then always do to spice up these walls, is of course, add in some windows on each of these sides. And so all we need to do is grab yourselves a sandstone wall, some sandstone stairs, some sandstone slabs, and if you do want some bar trapdoors, of course, these are only to add in some shape, you do not need to use them. 
And so the first window we are going to add is some small windows of, on the faces, and then there will be a long rowing, array of windows along the top, but those are for later. And so the first thing we are going to do is come across two blocks and then in this area right here, smash in a three by three area, just right there. And then use some sand stones there to arch it off, just like that. And then some sand stone slabs to just create a middle beam. And then actually you do need to do is go ahead and grab yourself some glass, so black stained glass, and just build that in behind. And that will just go in just like this. And then of course, if you do want to make it a bit more accurate in shape, so you can slim it off with some birch fences, that however, that is obviously not compulsory. And then leave a three block gap, one, two, three, and then smash in a, another three by three window just there. And then just build the exact same thing. So adding the arches and then some sandstone slats walls in the middle. And then of course the window in behind, going behind just like that. And of course, optional, you can add in some birch trapdoors, just like that. And then leave a flower block gap, one, two, three, four, five. And on the sixth block, smash in another window right here. And then we are not going to add in a window here. That is accurate to the model. And then come across five more blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And on the sixth block, smash in another set of three by three windows. And then this time we are going to come down three blocks and smash in another window right there. And so those window placements should be just like this. And then of course, all we do need to do is just add in the actual windows in each of these areas. And of course, these windows are going to be exactly identical to those two windows right there. So just go ahead and just do that. And those will go on just there. And then all we are going to do is just build these exact same windows along this face right here. So come along along this line and until you do come to the quad tower and smash in a three by three area right there. And of course at the exact same height and then come down three more blocks and then smash in another three by three area right there. And then once again, the exact same window design in this area right here. And those windows will of course just look like this, of course identical to these ones and at the exact same height. And then all we're doing to do is just repeat these windows onto the other side. So a three by three area right there, of course at the same height as these area right here. And then three blocks down, and then another three by three area just right there. And of course the exact same window design in these ones as well. And then of course, the exact same window design in these ones as well. And those will go in just right there. And then moving on to this side, all we're going to do is just add in these two windows onto over here. And so once again, leave a one block gap and then two blocks above and then smash in another three by three window right here. Of course, this should be at the exact same height as the other windows. A three block gap and then another window right there, just there. And then of course, fill these in with the exact same design we've done on all of the other windows previously. And those windows will look just like this. And then the next thing we need to do is add in some of the arrays of windows going all the way across along here. And so all we're doing to do is come up three blocks. So leave a three block gap, one, two, three. And then on the fourth block, what we are going to do is smash in a four by three area just there. And then to decorate this area, once again, we are going to arch off just like this and then leave a line of cut sandstone slabs on the bottom, just along there, just like that. The reason is, it's just to create the window at a slightly more accurate level, and then once again, add a beam across at this height right here, just like this. And the good thing about these windows is they do not require any glass behind, they are just completely open. And so, all we're doing to do is just smash in these exact same window designs, all the way along this line of wall, leaving a one block gap in between each of these windows. So these will just go on all the way along here, keep you on going until we do come to the end, which will be this last window right here. And so you will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight windows in total. And so all we're doing to do is just complete this window design on all of these windows. But before we do that, let's just go ahead and lay out the rest of the windows on each of the other sides. So on this side here, leave a one block gap in between here and smash in the exact window design right there. A one block gap and then another window and then a one block gap and then another window right here, just there. Of course, at the exact same height as these other windows right here. And then just loop around and repeat the exact same thing here. So a four by three area there, one block gap, one by three area there, one block gap, a four by three area right there, a one block gap there, 
And then the same thing on this side as well, except we are only going to do five windows. So one right here, two right here, three, four, and then five right here. And so all we do need to do is just repeat these designs of the archway right here, like that, the beam across with the sandstone slabs along there, and then some cut sandstone slabs on the bottom just there. And if you do want some increased archway design, you can just go ahead and place in some bar trap doors just to add that nicer, smoother pattern. And so all we need to do is just add in an archway on each of these windows. And let's go ahead and do that. And then lastly on this side, all we need to do is just add in a large window right here. And so all we need to do is just come in three blocks, so one, two, three, and on the fourth block, come out four blocks, so one, two, three, four, and on the fifth block, smash in one block here, one block here, one block here, and then one block here, just there. We are going to bring this up nine blocks, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and just fill out this area with nine blocks worth, nine blocks high of glass just along here. Oh, just like that, and then two blocks on top, just there. And then underneath it, place in some diagonal sandstone slabs, and then bring some sandstone walls going all the way up on each of the sides. So one right here, and then one right here on this side as well, just like that. And then actually, and then some upside down stairs on the last block right there, right here, right here, right here, and then a block right there. And that does create a nice archway just going up there. And then actually one mistake I think I did make in the foundations is actually we can just go ahead and place in a line of sandstone blocks going all the way up here. So it does create a nice diagonal going across instead of having this really random few blocks along here. So we can just go ahead and alter that just like this. And so just go ahead and remove these. And then just add some decoration. We can leave a one block gap and then just add in a line of sandstone slabs going across diagonally just like that. And then come up five blocks, so one, two, three, four, five, and then another line of sandstone slabs, just going across, and that will look just like this. And there we have it, that is the quad now done and dusted, and my gosh, it does look really, really cool, especially from this angle right here, it does look absolutely fantastic. And so next episode, we will start adding in the roofs, all the way around the roofs on these towers there are roofs on each of these and i will just start looking to look so much more complete and then once the episode is done we will start work let's i say work on the clock tower which is my favorite part of hogwarts by far and then the grand circus tower and the great hall and then this area right here and that will be basically hogwarts now done but anyway thank you guys very much for watching if, if you did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like and of course if you're not subscribed, make sure to press the subscribe button, it really does help. And of course, if you do want to support the channel and the series, you can support me on Patreon in the link below, and you will get custom perks in my Discord server, more downloads, and much, much more. But anyway, thank you guys very much for watching, I will see you guys in the next episode.